So I wanted to bring up kind of a, it's kind of a weird topic, but it was kind of like, hey, let's spice things up around here. This is Spaz's, okay. this is Spaz's fault. Oh, no. Oh, Spaz's fault. <laughs> Oh lord! I'm just, I'm just writing. I'm just writing this down for myself for later. Um. So Derek's in California. Max, you're in California. I'm in Texas. Spaz is the only one actually living in Oregon right now. Is it bad or not a good thing to be a fan of Oregon when you don't live in Oregon? Because apparently Spaz, tell the story. There's a there's a bit of a hate trend going on with duck fans who don't live in Oregon. Tell the story, there, Spaz. You brought it up. It's your fault. There, 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 there there's a few. There, there's a few Oregon people in some of the spaces that are frustrated they they don't understand how we can have this show going when we really don't have anybody on the ground per se covering the team getting the info getting knowing being inside the program whether it be alum or whatever that's a that's a that's program 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 <laughs> yeah so it's like i I've been getting a little bit of flack from people saying, you know, well, you need to, if you're the local guy, you need to step up more and get down to more games and give your, give your show more content from inside the trenches. Hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I feel like I'm a little bit torn because like I, I miss Eugene every single day, really. Um, you know, I lived in, in the Northwest for six years before I moved down here. So I felt super comfortable and, you know, everybody I feel like I run into in Eugene is just super nice and welcoming. Um, but I, I mean, and if you're on the West coast, it's, it's easy to get to Eugene. Um, and then, I mean, Ben, I mean, I think I heard there's a nonstop from Dallas. I want to say maybe that's on United, but Eugene's not an easy place to typically get to if we're just looking at flight prices, but location wise, on the West coast, it's not too hard to get to. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, I don't know. I think you can be a fan of, uh, of, of Oregon, you know, anywhere you're at. Well then I'm like, I told you before we went on air too, I'm from Gresham originally, like a mile from the Portland city limit. That's where I grew up. So it's not like, Oh, he's, he's in Texas. He's just a, it's like, no, I grew up in Oregon. Derek's the problem here. Yeah, like myself, I, I fell I fell in love with the team during the like the Dennis Dixon era. Um, you know, obviously they were they were really fun to watch there, just even being in Wisconsin. Um, and you know, obviously picked a great time to to be a little kid jumping into duck football fandom. Um, you know, transitioning to Jeremiah Masoli and Darren Thomas and obviously Marcus Mariotto and so on and so forth. So I mean, I understand it. You know, I, that, that's a pretty common argument I see um, online is they're like, you know, well, Oregon's fan base, they're like, they're, they're all over the country, which, you know, you, you can look at it one of two ways. Either you can t choose to look at it as it's a national brand. Um, you have fans all over the country, which is great. You know, I lived in New Jersey and Massachusetts for a while. There were Duck fans out there. Um, I know some more Duck fans back in Wisconsin, obviously down here in Cali. You know, I was driving on the highway today um, back home from work and right in front of me, there was an Oregon Duck little license plate holder. So, I mean, it's like you're going to see it all over. But at the same time, like I, I can understand the argument where there's people who are, you know, tentatively speaking, just because there's not people who are from the state per se. The, their biggest complaint with so, some of them was the fact that, you know, we run an Oregon show, but yet none of us are alum or none of us have ties to the program or recruits or anything. And that was a big, they're like, how can you get the real knowledge if you're not even on the ground? Well, and I told you, those are the people who are salty because they would never take the time to do any of this anyways. <laughs> so, <laughs> calling them out. I'm going to clip this and make it a short. <laughs> it's just going to have our voices behind Matt over behind Max's face. That'll be our short. He'll be like, great, great way to 